Whatever you call with us, the glory and the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is our salvation, salvation life, life, and resurrection, by whom we are saved and set free. God be merciful unto us and bless us. And show us the light, light of his countenance, and be merciful unto us. But it behooved us to glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, salvation life, and, and resurrection. By whom, whom we are saved and set free. Almighty God, and to whom all hearts are known, desires known, from whom no secrets are hid, whence the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first and great command, and the second is like unto Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. These two commandments are the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write all of these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God and God. And in earth, peace, goodwill, and we praise you, we bless you, we glorify you, we thank you for our great glory. O Lord God, heaven is the God of our Lord, the Lord is the only God of our Lord, the Lord is the only God of our Lord, the Lord is the only God of our Lord, the Lord is the only God of our Lord, the Lord is the only God of our Lord, the Lord is the only God of our Lord. Thou hast given us to the right hand of God the Father. Have mercy upon us, for Thou only art holy. Thou only art the Lord. Thou only the Christ to the Holy Ghost. Art most high in the glory of God the Father. Would be with you. And with Thy Spirit. Let's pray. Mighty and everlasting God, of thy tender love towards mankind, sent thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection with the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, who in a wonderful sacrament was left unto us on the memorial of thy passion, grant us over reverence the holy mysteries of thy body and blood. We may ever know within ourselves the fruit of thy redemption. Who livest and reignest with the Father in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. This was written in the 11th chapter of the First Epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians, beginning at the 23rd verse. Brethren, I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. It's due in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. He had supped, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread 
drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh condemnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Here end with you, Nestle. Christ for us became obedient unto death. Even the death the of the cross. cross. For God also hath highly exalted him. And given him a name which is above every name. The gospel is written in the sixth chapter of the gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 27th verse. Glory, Glory to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth to everlasting life. The Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. And said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. He said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. The bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believeth in me shall never thirst. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and was seated at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again in glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who speak by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Do this in remembrance of me. Tonight we recall the Passover meal our Lord Jesus shared with his disciples, during which he instituted the sacrament of Holy Communion. The term Wandi comes from the Latin, Mandatum Dom, or New Commandment. On the night before his sacrificial death, his passion and crucifixion, Jesus said, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. The Lord's ministry was one in which he led by example, a good shepherd leading his sheep, walking ahead of them, going before them. By the way, the sheep do not decide for themselves where they're going to go each day. 
you know, discuss among themselves whether as a flock they should feed that day in the north or the south pasture. Instead, they follow the shepherd. They do not need to discover the way. They just need to follow him. He is the way. And so when our Lord Jesus told his disciples to love one another as he loved them, he immediately demonstrated this new mandate by showing them the way. He girded himself as the lowliest household slave and washed their feet. He went on from there to show us the way even more fully. In his letter to the Philippians, St. Paul writes of our Lord Jesus Christ as a suffering servant and says, This mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. The Lord himself told us something similar. And he said at the Last Supper, Do this in remembrance of me. What's the meaning of our Lord's words? And he tells us to participate in this sacrament in memory of him. Does he mean that we should remember what he has done for us? Of course, that's a huge part of remembering him. He is, after all, our Savior. We rightly recall the greatness of his passion, the enormity of his sacrifice. In fact, this aspect of our worship often is lost on people unfamiliar with our liturgy. Perhaps because it's too obvious, like being aware of awareness. What I'm talking about here it's a simple fact that for us, the cross and resurrection of Christ is so crucial in everything we do, and of such vital importance we regard it as a cornerstone of our worship. First of all, you may have noticed that what we have here isn't exactly theater seating. Instead, in the cathedral, the place where the choir sits is separated from where the congregation sits by a crossing, a space right across the church between those seats where the congregation sits and where the choir sits. Because we lay out our churches, what's called a cruciform pattern. Moreover, we conduct our entire liturgy around the cross and resurrection. We don't leave that up to the preacher to remind us, other than simply hoping to hear about it in the sermon. We make the cross and resurrection the very focus of our worship as we inwardly recall the outward signs salvation in which Christ has delivered us. We respond with an altar call, in which we believe we receive in faith the very real presence of our Lord, as God the Holy Spirit brings us to realize the Holy Communion, by which we dwell together in Him and He in us. So yes, we remember what He has done for us, how our Savior saved us. Through this, in remembrance of me, said our Lord Jesus. And so, as well as recalling his actions and his teachings, his words and his deeds, we also remember him. Perfect God, perfect man. First Corinthians, St. Paul likens the heavenly vision to seeing in a mirror. After all, we were created in God's own image and likeness. So being raised to our true nature is to be like Christ. Romans 8, Paul writes that God has predestined us to be conformed to the likeness of his Son. John writes that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Do this in remembrance of me. It's a charge to remember him and in him to recall our own true likeness. Going in communion with Christ is never a matter of becoming something we are not but always about being what we really and truly are. In our fallen condition, we experience ourselves as fearful and anxious. We compensate by try trying to control the world around us. But here, in this place, we learn that our, our true nature is to be in eternal, loving communion. You recall how Adam and Eve were afraid and hid themselves after they had sinned. Fallen minds are fearful minds. In fear, we try to dominate, to control. Here in this place, on this night of all nights, the message is not to be as the Gentiles who lord it over each other. Learn instead that our real nature is perfect love, which casts out fear. Perfect love, which may well wear the clothes and bear the symbols of authority, of 
which lays them down, as quickly as Jesus stripped himself of his clothing, in order to serve us and wash our feet. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, says St. Paul. Do this, says Jesus, in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The right hand of the Lord bringeth mighty things to pass. The right hand of the Lord hath exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ said, The new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, forever and ever. All that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. All things come of thee and of thine own have we given thee. Pray for Christ's holy Catholic Church, for all according to their needs. Mighty and ever living God, by thy holy apostle Paul, let us during prayers and supplications and give thanks for all men. We beseech thee most mercifully to accept our afflictions and to receive these our prayers, which we offer to thy divine majesty. We want to hear our prayer. And let our cry come to thee. Beseech thee to inspire continually the universal church, the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. Grant that all our unhappy divisions may be healed. All they that do confess thy holy name, and agree in the truth of thy holy word, live in unity with God be Lord, hear our prayer. And let our prayer come unto thee. Be. Beseech thee also to leave the wrath, the wrath of Lebanon, Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Syria, Korea, Afghanistan, Korea, the United States, and all nations in the way of righteousness, to guide and direct their governors and rulers, that people may enjoy the blessings of health and safety, freedom and peace. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our prayer come unto thee. And unto thy servant, Elizabeth. All that are put in authority under her, our country, our province, and our city, they may truly and impartially administer justice for the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. The Lord hear our prayer. And may our prayer come unto thee. Grace, O Heavenly Father, to John the Herod and Thomas, Aaron, Aaron, and Francis, Justin, Linda, Ronald, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, who may both by their life and doctrine put forth thy true and living word. That lightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Prosper, we pray thee, Ralph Moore, the parish of Milton and Rusticon, the parish of Kings County, John Clark and St. Paul's Church of Charlottetown, and the church and the parish of Charlotte, Marilyn Newport and the parish of Eagan Seacon, Andrew Moyer, Marilyn Murphy, and the parishes of Muscadabit and Ship Harbor, Stephen Miller and the parish of Milwaukee. In the United States, Gary Barr, the parish of Fort Bucket, and Kuzmeyer, the Diocese of West Virginia in the United States, Daphne Emma Mazi, and the Diocese of Western Islam in Nigeria, and all those who proclaim the gospel of thy kingdom in this diocese and among the nations. Lord, hear our prayer. And may our prayer become unto thee. All thy people give thy heavenly grace, especially to this congregation here present. Be card in reverence and adhere and receive thy holy word. Truly serve thee, holiness and righteousness, all the days of their life. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord. Comfort and succor our fellow parishioners. Sandra Webster, Lana Stewart, Miss Locke, Muriel Pitt, John Stench, Catherine Edward, Lee McFadden, Margot Bond, Chief Varghese, Stephen Tweed, Diane. 
This is in Paris. It's of Shema, Yagatsa of the Danish. These others for whom my prayers are also desired. A Morris, Judy McKay, Jack Whitter, Smilla Vieira, Mr. Helen, Willis McDonald, Christopher Costain, and McDeal. Neil Furnix, Gordon Deal. Those who suffer from the COVID 19 virus. Those who are vulnerable to it. Those who are isolated because of it. Those who care for them. And all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, whom we now name in our hearts. We'll hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Remember before thee, O Lord, all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. Lest eternal grant unto them. And let thy proper joy shine upon them. Bless thy holy name for Peter, our patron, and all who in life and death glorify thee. Seeching ye to give us grace that rejoicing in their fellowship may follow their good examples. And with them be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. We'll hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And so, Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, come with thee and the Holy Ghost, in your honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and tend to lead the new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith, take this holy sacrament to your comfort. Make your humble confession to Almighty God, we kneeling upon your knees. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, exalted all men, we acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most seriously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty. We do honestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of this great mercy, all this forgiveness of sins, all them that with hearty repentance and true faith come unto him. Mercy upon you, pardon you, and deliver you from all your sins. Firm and strengthen you in all goodness, and lead everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let's give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It's very right and our bounded duty. We should at all times and in all places give thanks unto O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, Creator, Preserver of all things, for the redemption of the world by the death and passion of our Savior Christ, God and man, who did humble himself even to the death upon the cross for us sinners, lay in darkness in the shadow of death, that he might make us the children of God, exalt us to everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, Body magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, O Jana in the highest. Blessing and glory and thanksgiving and to the Almighty God our Heavenly Father. What thy tender mercy is give thy only Son, Jesus Christ. Our nature upon him, suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, and thereby his one oblation of himself once offered, a perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And it institute this holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial about his precious death until his coming again. For us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee. Grant that we receiving these are creatures of bread and wine. According to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, holy institution, be members of his death and passion, be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. When the same night that he was betrayed to bread, and giving thanks, he brake it, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, this is my body that was given for you. This is that of the Son. Was after supper, he took the cup. He had given him thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. This is often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Lord, O oh Father, Lord of heaven and earth, we, thy humble servants, with all thy holy church, remember the precious death of thy beloved Son, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and for his coming again in glory. Make before thee in this sacrament of the holy bread of eternal life, the cup of everlasting salvation, the memorial which he has commanded. We entirely desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully, accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching to grant. By the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. We pray that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, that we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, honor and glory be unto thee, Father Almighty. Amen. Thou our Savior Christ, who commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Do not presume. Unto this, thy favor, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Grant us thy peace. Lord Jesus, after he had supped with his disciples, washed their feet, and said unto them, Moody of what I, your Lord and Master, have done to you, I have given you an example that they shall also should do so. O the Lamb of God, with him that taketh away the sin of the world. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my own. But speak the word of me, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Mighty and ever living God, most heartily thank thee that thou dost graciously feed us in these holy mysteries, the spiritual food, the most precious body and blood, thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, showing us thereby thy favor and goodness towards us. We are living members of his mystical body, which is a blessed company of all faithful people, who are also wear us through hope of everlasting kingdom. And hear me, God, for in present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee. And although we are unworthy, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but finding our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Um.